Jeff Simon here at AirVenture 2022. I'm here with Ken Carklin, the CEO of Opener and the Black Fly, personal aerial vehicle. I saw this fly last night at the night air show and I have to say, Ken, it was amazing. It was so cool to see something performing out there that the average person is going to be able to get for themselves. Tell me a little bit about where you are in the program and what's, uh, you know, what this aircraft's going to mean as a personal aerial vehicle for so many people. You bet. Well, we're extremely excited uh, with where we are. So, you know, Blackfly's been in development for over eight years. Uh, we've flown out here at Osh multiple times. And uh, now we've entered a new phase of you know, multiple flights, multiple operators, really building up our durability and reliability. Uh, we've still got some boxes to check. We're gonna be flying hot, high and hot later this summer. Okay. Uh, we're gonna be doing some uh, EMC compatibility testing under DO160G. Okay. This is to make sure that if you bring a, 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 a transmitter on board, right. that there's not gonna be any bad outcomes. But really, you know, this is a personal air vehicle uh, that the average person could acquire and then go fly out on their property or their ranch as long as they're in the Class G airspace. Yeah. And really experience the joy of aviation, whether they're a licensed pilot or not. And uh, we're extremely excited with where we are. Uh, we're gonna be identifying our early uh, access program participants mm -hmm. uh, over the course of the coming months. Uh, we expect that to pick up in the autumn. Oh, really? Uh, delivering so aircraft to a, a selected group of individuals will be the first ones to experience the training, uh, the fitment of the aircraft, uh, we'll be testing out the delivery of aircraft to their, their ranch or their yeah. property for the very first time, make sure they've got charging infrastructure, make sure they've got good connectivity for the aircraft, and then they're going to be out and they're going to be flying down on their own terms. Isn't that great? That, that soon, as, as this fall, you're going to start with that select group of people to get out there. That's right. And we'll do a second phase of that. More participants, a bigger geography. Uh -huh. We'll really be flexing that uh, that customer support muscle to make sure that everybody is delighted with their black fly, that they're well taken care of. And then sometime after that, we'll be doing a full commercial launch, mm -hmm. and you know you'll be able to come on in, and uh, we'll take your order, and we will give you date certain when you will get your aircraft. Wow. Well, it, you know, it's it's the black fly is such an all terrain vehicle when you think about it that way, and I've always been amazed at the design, that the idea of of landing gear, which is always such a weakness of air, in, in aircraft designs, you have to worry about it damaged and all these other things. You don't have to worry about any of that. You've designed this kind of like gentle structure that just can land on whatever surface just happens to be there. And I was especially uh, really entranced last night watching it fly because we've seen, you know, hover tests before, mm -hmm. but your pilot actually really took this up to altitude, really showed all these different flight regimes and it shows how much fun it's going to be. It's going to be extremely fun and that's what all our operators tell us. The first time they fly, they are over the moon uh, with, with the joy of personal flight and boy, when, you, when it takes off, it really launches you up into the air. I mean, those eight motors have a lot of power to them. Uh -huh. And uh, when they make that transition to forward flight, and they're banking and cruising and gliding over the landscape. It's, it's a real exciting thing. Right. And the, the, the smiles say it all. <laughs> the smiles say it all. Well, the, the flight demo, one of the things that struck me about the flight demo is that it really showed that it's not a ground effect aircraft that it gets out there and can just do amazing, like that, it just went up there, it hovered there, it looked around, it went around in different areas. So it sounds like people can really explore the envelope for themselves of what they can do once they acquire it. They're not just limited to those, you know, well, it's an aerial vehicle, but it's slightly higher than a truck, you know? Right. It's, it's really, it's really out there. And it's extremely easy to fly and it's extremely easy to learn to fly. Mm -hmm. uh, there's just one joystick that the operator's doing everything with, you know, wow. and, and you're flying in the Cartesian plane, forward to fly forward, backward to fly backward, bank left, bank right, transition from one state, the hover state, yeah. to the forward flight state with just a squeeze of the trigger. Wow. Uh, both states are seamless transition from one to the other. And uh, we're going to be showing you more of those capabilities in our next show uh, on the uh, on the main runway on Saturday. And we'll, actually, we're going to be back in the ultralight field tonight. Excellent. Oh, man. Well, and, and one last thing, and that is the concept of safety, because uh, you, you talked about it during that demonstration. You've got eight motors. And if there's any problem with that, it sounds like there's a lot of redundancy built in. There's tremendous redundancy built into the aircraft. So the Blackfly was engineered with safety and failover redundancy 
from the word go. This is what the team has really been working on for over eight years. So uh, eight motors, if there were any motor were to fail for some reason, the polar opposite motor will simply turn off, the aircraft remains gyroscopically balanced, and you've got more than enough thrust and command authority to either finish your flight or return to base and land safely in the hover mode. Wow. Well, so timetable is looking like you said, the fall, and then tell me, just last for the folks that are out there, when uh, can they expect this is an opportunity and what's the rough price range they're looking at? Well, I don't want to give a date on the calendar. Okay. Um, because, you know, we're going to be informed by the success of our testing. Okay. Uh, you know, we have uh, uh, patient investors, and that's allowed us to do the right thing every time, make the right choices for safety, mm -hmm. and to ensure that uh, our, our adopters have the best experience possible. So, you know, informed by the success of our testing later this summer and into the fall, we anticipate kicking off that first phase of that early access program. It's gonna be a pretty quiet program. We're not yep. gonna be talking about it a lot. Right. Uh, if they're successful, we'll do it again, only bigger. And informed by that success, we'll have a full commercial launch. That's fantastic. Wow. Well, I can't wait to see more of it. We're going to be out there for a light sport demo that you're going to be doing here on Friday at AirVenture 2022. And uh, then we'll be having you coming on Social Flight Live and we can talk in more detail. Fantastic. Look Excellent. forward to it. Thank you so much. Really Thank appreciate you. it. For AirVenture 2022, I'm Jeff Simon for Social Flight. Blue skies.